ABLE South Carolina, what you should know about parenting with a disability. Let's talk about parenting. The desire to become a parent can cross all populations. Host is Kimberly Tiso. But even today, people with disabilities continue to face significant legal, medical, and family resistance to their decision to start a family. Why is that, and what can we do to change that mindset? Before you form or express an opinion, it's important to understand the law. People with disabilities, including people with physical, visual, intellectual, developmental, hearing, psychiatric, and other disabilities have the right to bear and raise children, receive reproductive assistance, become foster parents, and adopt a child. Several laws protect these rights and prohibit discrimination. Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 and Title II and III of the Americans with Disabilities Act prohibits discrimination by federal, state, and local programs. People with disabilities cannot be denied goods or services offered to the public because of their disability, and that includes services related to parenting, adoption, child welfare, and more. In the United States alone, there are currently about 4.1 million parents with disabilities. I am so proud to be included in that number. Photo of Kimberly and her husband lifting their young son in the air. Kimberly has a left leg amputation and uses crutches. No person parents the same way, and that's completely understood and acceptable. Parents with disabilities might adapt by using modified equipment, modified communication, or other methods that are no less effective in caring for their child. Despite the social stigma and discrimination that they still often face, parents with disabilities are no less capable of loving and raising a child than anyone else. Happy, healthy, well-adjusted families are the norm, not the exception. But don't take our word for it. Let's hear from some parents themselves. If being a parent is what you want to do, um, know that, that it'll be okay. Nikki Stamps, parent with a spinal cord injury. You can be a parent. Photo of Nikki with her young daughter and son smiling. Um, know your rights. The Americans with Disabilities Act is in place for everything, and that includes, you know, reproductive rights, adoption, being a mom, being a dad, um, just, you know, believe in yourself, you know, don't let anybody question your abilities. You know what you can do, and just, and just trust that everything will be okay. Um, and if you need to, ask for help, um, if, if you need help. Um, there's lots of resources out there. Um, and people that you can talk to, you know, for support. Sherry and Roger Williams, parents. Sherry is deaf and is communicating via American Sign Language. Deaf parents are capable of being good parents. Photo of Sherry and Roger with four of their children sitting at a table. It's just like any other and anyone else, you know. Cindy Popenhagen. Cindy has low vision. My message to people who have disabilities who want to be parents, I would just say, you know, when you're ready and, and the time is right, go for it. Photo of Cindy holding her infant son. Your disability shouldn't ever be a question as to why or should you be a parent. To me, that was never a, a concern. Having a, a limitation or disability shouldn't prevent you from wanting to be a parent. If you want to be a parent, be a parent. You can be just as good of a parent as anyone else out there can be. People have asked us before how we can, um, how do, can we be parents if we have a disability. Jennifer and Jeff Bazer. Jennifer and Jeff are blind. What would be some advice, you know, that we would give anybody else? And, and I really think that... Um, the biggest thing is you have to believe in yourself, first of all, that you can do it, that anything's possible. Jennifer and Jeff with their young son and infant daughter. Well, then after you get that figured out, you say, okay, now, literally, how am I going to do it? The answer there, I think, is you have to surround yourself with positive people, people who also believe that you can do it, like your family, uh, maybe your parents or friends who, uh, you know, who support you. If you want to become a parent, go for it. 
Discrimination against parents with disabilities, especially by social workers and healthcare providers, is simply unacceptable, and it's unfounded, and it's against the law. Parents and providers have rights and responsibilities. Know the law, open your mind, and embrace the possibilities. Special thanks to National Council on Disability, ABLE South Carolina Women's Focus Group, South Carolina Interagency Office of Disability and Health. A production of ABLE South Carolina. Web address able-sc.org.